Hey y'all, let me give y'all like a backstory. The reason why I decided to get off social media was because I wanted to create more content and I wanted to focus on myself after I graduated high school. Now I did delete social media briefly, April 27th, but I kept getting on there like every now and then I'll get back on there, log in, get back on there, log in, log out, log in, log out. But May 27 was the day that I decided that I'm not going to log in anymore. Like I haven't been on social media, scrolled on any social media app since May 27th. Now, when I made this decision, it was right after I had graduated. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to actually be for real. I'm going to take this serious. I'm going to start focusing on myself, learning, creating content of my own and perfecting my craft. So that's how this started and now I'm going to share the pros and cons of what it's like to be without social media. Almost three months now. It's not that long, but it still has affected my life. The first pro is when you're not on social media, it's a really great focus on yourself. Like you focusing on yourself. You worried about your life. You're not worried about nobody else's life. You wake up in the morning. You don't have these apps on your phone. Like I used to wake up and I used to get right on Facebook. But now I wake up and I brush my teeth or I eat breakfast and I'm worried about myself. I'm not looking to social media to see what they're doing when I first wake up or I'm not looking to social media when I'm just worrying about what I'm doing and not what other people are doing. Like a lot of times with social media, people get so invested in other people's lives, like lurking and stalking other people's social media accounts like y'all this is real like and I used to lurk a little bit like I used to worry about what other people was doing but I have not like I don't even know what people are doing like I don't know unless somebody tell me like I don't know what's going on on Facebook I don't know what's going on on Instagram or Snapchat unless somebody tell me and I do talk to people and they tell me what's going on but truly focused on yourself without social media for that second pro I would say that you get more creative. Now, I do have a intake on this social media thing. I haven't been on Facebook, Instagram, or Snapchat, but I have been on TikTok. But it has made me more creative in ways because I'm creating more content than I'm consuming. Like, yes, I use TikTok still, but it's not as toxic as Facebook. It's not as messy as Facebook or Instagram or Snapchat. Like, TikTok gives me this new outlook of you know, ideas that I can use for my own YouTube videos. I use TikTok to promote my YouTube videos, to create more videos on my behalf. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's really, when I'm not on these apps and searching and scrolling, looking at other people's lives, I'm creating content. I'm doing what I love. I'm doing what I like. I love being in front of the camera. You know what I'm saying? And for that third pro, I would say that when it comes to pictures, in videos it becomes more intimate because you're not recording to share it with other people you're not taking pictures to post them later you're not taking pictures to edit them you're not taking videos to post it put it on snapchat and facebook you're taking these pictures and videos now to look back on them and cherish them like now when i pull out my phone and i take a video i'm creating content or i'm literally enjoying the moment and I want to watch this later. You know what I'm saying? Like no corny stuff. Like when I take pictures and videos now, I'm not thinking about, oh, I'm going to post this. Oh, I'm going to show what's the name. I'm going to show somebody. Or I'm going to post this, 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 that. I'm taking this video for Instagram. No, like I'm taking pictures and videos intimately. Like that's for me. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not taking pictures and videos to post. I'm taking pictures and videos because this is what I genuinely enjoy. It feels different to not have social media in be doing stuff with the intent of posting it later and for that fourth pro i would say that it builds discipline like it takes strength to not do something that everybody else is doing like everybody my age gen z everybody has facebook everybody has instagram and i want to say that it builds discipline because it makes you stand out like it sets you apart from what everybody else is doing like if you're not on social media you're focusing on yourself it's no way that you will get distracted easily like i'm focused more on my work i focus more on my craft i focus more on my hobbies because i'm not watching other people i'm not scrolling on these apps i'm not you know what i'm saying like and a lot of people are doing it not saying this to shame people because you know, people, you know, you do what you want. It's your life. You can get on Facebook for three hours, five hours, seven, eight hours a day. 
that's on you, you know what I'm saying? But I prefer and I like it because I'm more in tune with my own life than I am with these apps. It's a discipline, it's a self-control that most people do not have. Like they cannot put their phone down, they cannot get off Facebook, they cannot stop. I believe it's called doom scrolling when you get on an app and you just scroll for hours and you just scroll and you just scroll and you're consuming all this toxic energy. You're consuming other people's lives more than you're consuming your own, more than you're enjoying your own life. So I say that is discipline because for you to not do something that everybody else is doing, it makes you stand out and it makes you a little bit more mysterious. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't I don't know what people are doing. I don't know what's trending on Facebook. I don't know what's going on on Instagram. And I feel OK with that. I don't have FOMO. Like I don't feel FOMO anymore since I've been off social media. I don't have a fear of missing out because I don't know what's going on. You know, I'm in my own lane. I'm worrying about myself. I'm going to go to college and I'm creating my own content. You know what I'm saying? Enjoying my life and taking back my time. I'm taking back the time that I spent scrolling on those apps. And it's been wonderful. It hasn't been not even six months yet, but it's it's been good. And for that fourth pro, I would give you build more relationships with people in person. It's a difference between meeting somebody in person and meeting somebody on social media. Now, what I notice is I talk to people more like my social life is not gone just because I don't have social media. Like I still socialize in person. Like I talk to people at work when I'm out. I talk to people like y'all. I talk to strangers like I will have a conversation, not on weird things. But, you know, if it's like a little a little chit chat, I'm not close to talking to people like I'm not a shy person and like I said I still find out you know news and information through other people because I talk to people in person I don't just you know what I'm saying rely on social media to socialize because I don't have it I have to talk to people you know what I'm saying and I feel like it's important that I'm getting older and it's teaching me how to network more I'm building these genuine relationships like I don't just talk to somebody just because we're friends on Facebook like I see you you see me in person, you know what I'm saying? And it's, I can't really explain it, but it's a different type of connection. It's a different type of relationship when you meet somebody in person and y'all actually talk and build this connection in person. Let's move on to the cons. So for that first con, I would say you lose contact with the people that you thought you had relationships with. Like, you know, when you're on Snapchat, you got these Snapchat friends, Facebook friends, and they only talk to you when you post something. Like... I remember talking to people and they were only we will only have a conversation if I posted a certain thing or if I posted a picture or if they posted a picture, I will only talk to them because they had just posted. You know what I'm saying? And it's kind of like an out of sight, out of mind thing. Like I'm not thinking about people that I don't talk to now that I did when I was on social media. Like it'll be like a remembrance, like. It'll go across my mind, but then again, it's like, it wasn't real. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't a real connection. It wasn't a real relationship or friendship because if those people really cared about you, they would still be in contact with you after you quit social media. So you do lose a little bit. Well, you're not losing. You just revealed who messed with you for real off of social media. For that second con, I would say is you miss public news. You miss public announcements like, it's not really missing out because like I said, I find out news because I talk to people like they'll tell me what's going on on Facebook or I'll, you know, I'll listen, even though I'm not on social media, I'll listen, you know, to what's going on. Cause I, you know, why not? That's what's going on. And I would like to know like deaths, like I've heard that people passed away from other people because that's on social media. I have no other way to find out or pregnancies gender reveals you know colleges like people going to college certain schools or you know just real big announcements that you would see on social media you don't see those you know what i'm saying so you will have to find out through other people you'll find out through connecting with other people talking to other people but i wouldn't say that that's really that's kind of like a slash pro slash con like you miss out on announcements you miss out on what people are announcing to the public now for that third con i would say is it got it gets lonely a little bit like at first it gets a little lonely 
it's not really loneliness for real like at first it feels lonely but then it feels peaceful like at first when i first deleted social media i was like oh but i want to talk to this person i want to keep in contact with this person and this person and this person but it's like i'm not like i don't have a desire to chase anybody you know what i'm saying like I didn't announce when I got off social media. I just got off there. And I do still have contact with certain people. Like, certain people will find my number and text me and say, hey, I haven't seen you on social media. And it made me feel good for them to remember. But, you know what I'm saying? I'm in this and I'm doing this for me. And it feels good. You know, life without social media feels good. And it's peaceful. Like, you're not consuming mess, you're not consuming all this toxicness, all this Facebook mess, all of this, you know, internet drama and fights and stuff like that. Like, you'll feel lonely or FOMO, like I said earlier, you'll feel like you're missing out, but you're, you're not missing out. Like, I don't, I don't genuinely feel like I'm missing out anymore. Like, at first I was like, oh, well, I'm, I don't know this, I don't know that, I don't know what's going on, but it i don't care like i don't care anymore like i don't care what's going on i don't care what other people are doing with their life you know what i'm saying and then for that fourth con that last con i would say is people will have an opinion on your choice people will have an opinion and something to say about the fact that you're not on social media and they'll say things like oh i can never get off social media like i've heard this so many times like i'll tell somebody they'll say what's your facebook and i'll be like oh i don't have facebook or I don't have Instagram. They'll just keep asking, well, what about Snapchat? I don't have Snapchat. And it's just, they'll say weird things like, oh, um, you think you holier than, like, no, like, I don't know. They'll say weird things. They'll comment things and just say off the wall stuff, like, I could never get off social media or why are you not on there or what made you do that? It'd it be irrelevant, first of all, but I don't know. A lot of people will have an opinion on what you do, but you just got to not care, literally. Like, you got to stand on ten toes. You got to make choices for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not worried about nobody else. I'm truly worried about me. The main point that I would, like, say in this video is life without social media is truly wonderful. Like, no, not to be corny or nothing, but when you truly focusing on yourself, quality of life will get better when you're not scrolling on all these apps for hours and hours and hours and i'm only 18 like of course i wanted to be on there like i wanted to go back and be on there but then i was like no nah, it ain't even worth it you know like i'm worried about myself i'm creating content getting to know myself better like i do not have any social media apps on my phone except tiktok but i use tiktok as a creative outlet i'm not consuming more content than I'm creating when I'm on TikTok. You know what I'm saying? And I get inspired by other creators. And I do watch YouTube too, because I am a YouTuber. I watch YouTube and I get inspired. Like, and I get happy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can take this idea and make it my own. And I would suggest anybody to get off social media. It does not hurt. It doesn't hurt. Being on social media hurts you more than being off social media. But that's the end of this video. I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. I hope that. All these pros and cons gave you a better outlook on what it's like for me to not have been on social media for these months. I hope that it inspired you to not just get off social media, but maybe a break because who knows? I might get back on social media. This might just be a little break, but right now I don't have any desire to get back on social media. But thank you for watching and I hope that you enjoyed this video. And you will see me on my next video. My next video. Look at you, girl. Glasses. Got the Lorve. Lorve. <laughs> but anyway, I just want to show y'all my glasses. Because I think this is my first time wearing these in a video. Bye for real this time. <laughs>